Today's team talk is a little earlier than normal and it's because I'm taking the gap with load shedding and so like a good center I want to come and take the gap and say that it is on. Over the last couple of weeks I've just been sharing the journey that we've been on as an eldership over the last little while and how tentatively and quietly confident I am that we're going to be able to land the next steps for new gen in these coming weeks. Uh, and that we'd be able to announce and share them with you at our next Together Sunday, which is the 10th of July. And so here I am like a good center coming and saying that it is on. The 10th of July is on. The eagle has landed uh, and we are going to share with you what those next steps look like. And so can I, can I urge you, can I plead with you, can I beg you to wage war against your duvet on the morning of the 10th of July? Can I urge you to wage war against the imminent rain that will most definitely come on that day, against the countless invitations to Granny's 80th or brunch with your friends and prioritize this time to come and hear in person what New Gen's next steps are? More than that, just to prime that moment, this last Sunday, the Sunday Scrum was about uh, and a reminder of working from a place of rest. And I really feel like the last two and a bit years have been this thing of resting in God, of coming, uh, resting in Him, hearing from Him and allowing Him to come and reorganize and prioritize what we do and give ourselves to as a church. And that we're emerging from that rest to now work. And so I think sometimes we think, uh, resting, uh, working from rest is an excuse for laziness or backfootedness or half-hearted effort and I really don't see it like that. I see it to the contrary as God coming and focusing uh, and, and redirecting our efforts so that they're more concentrated and that we can give ourselves more wholeheartedly with greater energy and enthusiasm to those things because he's determined them and he's shared them and he's prioritized them for us. And so, and so as we come and as a church emerge from this season of rest, there is work to be done. Not only am I excited to share that with you on the 10th of July, but I'm also wanting to come and invite you to be a part of that work that you are not called to be a bloodsucker, an oxygen thief, a leech, to just come and to gather and gorge yourself on the riches of God, but that there is work for us to come and as we've been blessed, to be a blessing, and that this is a moment not only to come and to hear firsthand what these next steps are, but for you to come and be a part of those next steps and to give yourself to the work that God has for new gen. This is an invite for you to come and to be a part of that.